everyone and welcome to a new video. MC Mora here and today I wanted to talk to you guys about something I encountered today and I thought it would be really interesting to make a discussion about it. And it is the idea of using turbo and whether it's cheating or not. Now, in general, I don't really care if my opponent is doing something like this, if he's turboing or not. And, but the issue with Street Fighter V and its netcode is that mashing makes the game slows down. And this was the fight, as you guys see, the guy was doing jab like stop. And the issue is, when he's doing jab like stop like that, the game is slowing down. I'm not sure if you can see the frame skipping because of the compression of the PS4 and YouTube and all of that but basically the connection was dying as you can see I even blocked the spot slam ones did jab and got counter hit by his heavy which shouldn't happen so now that we've seen the live replay I will, we will take a look at the inputs so now we have the replay of the match because I wanted to see the input after this match happened I was like there is no way this guy is doing jab hands like this. Something seemed fishy to me. So let's look at his inputs and see what was going on. I'm gonna skip to round two because this is when the whole mashing thing started happening. So as you can just see, every time he pressed jab, like let's, let's scroll back here. Every time he's pressing jab, he's getting seven or eight or like 90,000 live punches. That's not normal. That to me says this guy is using a turbo controller, all right? He is setting a turbo to the light punch button. Now again, like I said, typically this isn't an issue. I don't care if my opponent is doing lights. I don't care if my opponent is using turbo. I don't really care if you're playing offline or whatever. It doesn't really like, it doesn't really matter. But when you're playing online and you know that this game has slowdowns, and let's look at this now. He is gonna do a fifty thousand. Jab hands. And the thing is, like, like I wanted to say, on flying, it doesn't really matter. In any other netcode, it doesn't really matter, but in Street Fighter V netcode, this means that I am getting black switch. Now, I don't know if that guy, if Apex Predator, I'm not even trying to roast the player here. I mean, if Capcom is allowing it, it's free game to him, whatever, do, do whatever you want. But what I wanted to say is, this is a really big issue. I actually believe this is a very contributing factor as to why Honda has the highest win rate online. Because of how the game works and the netcode of Street Fighter V. Now, what can we do about this and who is to blame? Should I blame the guy? Should I even feel cheated? Because when I was playing this match, when I was playing it, I felt like I honestly even stopped caring when he did like 3 or 4 times and I could see the connections dying and the guy was going ham non-stop. You know how when uh, it started to lag and both players will like, you know, go back uh, to the ends of the screen and, you know, mash jab. It's like it's slowing down and any lag spikes they are doing this. But this guy, he was doing it with intent. To me, that was a malicious lag switch. And like I said again, who should the blame be put on? Who should I feel angry towards? Should I feel angry towards the player because he is using a controller that is not tournament legal but this is not tournament this is online so he can do whatever he wants or should we be upset at Capcom that designed a character like this and worse designed a netcode that allows this. Street Fighter 5 have a hilarious hilarious room for cheating online. Cheating, lag switching, uh, using macros you can do whatever you want and there is no protection whatsoever and I'm sorry I don't believe this guy deserves to be as a rank he is I can see now why he is a grandmaster because what should your opponent going to do again I'm not even roasting the guy it's just you know it is what it is I'm not even sure if it's malicious from his part but I believe it to be I'm not sure if that was his intent but for me that is a malicious behavior so let me know what you think because we all been there we all blade versus that you know as a ken that once he did a one dp or whipped one thing the connection dies the honda the honda's best I, I i feel like this happened specifically versus honda and ed honda and ed in particular I, I i i find this issue to be the most glaring with because they are the two most mesh heavy characters in the game a lot of it will just match his flicker and Hondas are always doing hands and it's just something that always kills the connection 
So I just it's an issue that I wanted to bring to light. Uh, please let me know what you think uh, and tell me your experiences. If you ever experienced something like this, please let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.